Hi friends, today I'm going to be making some slimline cards using the Tonic Studios Stamp Club number no. 5 borders and backgrounds and some Distress Oxide inks, which I love. The couple of products that I want to show you, um, these are the stamp and die set, so you get 18 of each. It's um, a 6x8 set, really versatile, and I love those panel dies, the sentiments. I'm also going to use this Nouveau, this large blending brush. It's fantastic. Sorry about that. It slipped out my hand. Slippery little sucker. And I'm going to use three Distress Oxides. So it's going to be Squeeze Lemonade, Wild Honey, and Picked Raspberry. I'm also going to use three Nouveau Drops. So we've got Simply White Gloss. We have Carnation Pink and English Mustard. The last thing I want to show you is I use some black and white Liquitex ink and this is just for my ink splatters. I just find it easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, start blending those colors together. Uh, I find that with the watercolor cardstock and the oxides, it just it just melts onto the to the card. I think it's fantastic. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, gradient here just within about a minute. I think it took me to make this. So it's stunning. I do let it dry and I actually made two because I decided to make two cards, not one. So whilst I put that to the side, I'm going to cut out some of those um, die panels. So it's uh, Miss You, Love and Friends. I'm going to cut them out, but you just have to be careful. Um, there's a few little bits on the inside, which you'll see in a minute. Um, that you have to place back in, like on the O's, the R and the D. So I pop that up on some foam pads. I think I actually use shaker tape. And I'm just gonna pop those little bits back in the side. And I've done the same thing on a piece of black cardstock. So the um, background is exactly the same. I just redid the one that I showed you just a second ago. And then I um, die cut those in black, just the opposite way. So we have two different cards here. I'm going to go ahead and add those little bits on the inside again. And I think I need to trim that side down a little bit as well. Now that we have both of those panels put together, I'm going to pop them on a slimline card base, which is eight and a half by three and a half. Uh, the black panel is going to go on a white card base and the white panel is gonna go on a black card base. So a bit of a yin and yang thing going on there. What I'm gonna do is I just have this, um, this box that I keep for splatters, and I'm gonna add some of that white and black ink as well. I just let it dry for a minute before I went in um, and did the black over it. I, I really enjoy splatters. I think it gives it something, just a little bit of interest. I let that ink dry for about 10 minutes and I went in then with my Nouveau drops just in random places to add some of the colors. So we have the yellow, the pink and the white as well. Off camera, I cut out the U and added it just under the miss on each card. I felt that this completed um, the set perfectly. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the like and subscribe button. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day and take care.